Hey guys, so welcome back to another video here with Crafty Mama. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Um, what I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do today is that um, that cup set that has been going around Facebook, the, um, the coffee mug, the wine glass, and then the shot glass. Um, <clears throat> I've gotten a couple of requests to make these for some of my customers, so um, and I have had in my group a couple of questions about like what type of font people are using, how do you measure them, how do you package them, things like that. So those are questions I'm going to go ahead and answer today while I'm showing you how to make the, um, the set. Now these uh, fonts, um, this one I want to say I purchased from Creative Market. And then these other two, um, I made these in Canva. Um... Let me go to my Canva. Okay, so Classy is in Stone Kids, which I purchased from um, whatthefont.com. Um, I purchased Stone Kids and then I uploaded it to my Canva account. Um, so that's what Classy is in. Bougie is in Virtual, which is a Canva um Font. And then all I did to get the heart, it doesn't come with the heart. Um, I grouped them. So it comes with a dot. I took the heart. I took just a black heart out of my, my elements here. I went to my elements, got this heart, turned it black, and then resized it and covered up the dot. That was what I did to get the heart. And then I grouped them together. But this font is called Virtual and it is in the in Canva already. It's a Canva font. And then Ratchet is in Lovelo, which is also a Canva font as well. So these are the three um, fonts that I'll be using today to create the, um, the, the cup set. And then I've already measured them out. Classy and Bougie are going to be four and a half in width. And then Ratchet is going to be three inches in width. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these cut out and then I will come back and show you how to apply it to your cup and then how to um, package it as well. So stick around for that. Okay guys, so I'm back here um, and I do have my vinyl all cut out. I'm using a gold vinyl today. Um, it's just regular uh, premium permanent vinyl um, and then I have my cups I got my shot glass I ordered this um, in a set of 12 from Amazon and just a regular wine glass I think I got this from Walmart maybe I can't remember where I got it from and then just a white coffee mug might have got this from Dollar Tree, might have got it from Walmart, somewhere, somewhere around there. Um, but, so I'm just going to go ahead and um, cut these off. And you're basically just going to apply it, apply it like you would any regular vinyl. Um, I think I have a video on the mom flax where I'm applying the vinyl same way and then I think I have what else do I have on my channel um oh the spin the night bag was just uh with regular vinyl as well so basically it's the same concept you're gonna get your transfer tape I'm just gonna cut a piece off here and you want to make sure your cups are cleaned off I already you know wash them because um, you want your your vinyl to be able to stick and adhere to it okay you're gonna take your little tool here this mine is a little Cricut tool and you're just gonna go over it And then you're going to flip it over and peel the white backing off. 
okay and then we're gonna take our cup And then you're going to line it up. And then carefully place it down. Don't go too fast or, you know, because it's a curve, you might create um, air bubbles in your vinyl. And you don't want that. So do it slow. And I actually think I put it on Cricut. Once you get it all the way on there, as I was putting it on, I was pushing it down with my finger. Then you're just going to peel this part back slowly. There's a small air bubble right there, so I was just pushing it out. Okay, so you just want to maybe go over your vinyl one more time. Make sure it's all down. And that there's no air bubbles. Um, you can seal this with epoxy if you really want to. I'm not going to just because I keep hearing a bunch of horror stories about um, epoxy and people getting sued and a bunch of crazy stuff. People getting sick. I'm not messing with that. So I'm just, uh, yeah, I don't mess with epoxy at all. So you, you do what you want. I'm just going to include care instructions with this set. Um, hand wash because this is a, a premium the premium uh, permanent vinyl it's an outdoor vinyl so it's okay if it gets wet it just can't go through like the dishwasher or be soaked so I'm going to include the care instructions that are going to tell my customer to hand wash um, to create longevity with the cup but I don't I'm not messing with that epoxy or anything like that. I actually saw in one of the groups, um, this lady was talking about her friend was selling a, um, she sells tumblers and she epoxies the tumblers and, um, somebody was suing her because, you know, filed a lawsuit against her because I guess she, she got sick and she believes that she got sick because of the epoxy that was on the tumbler, you know. Which I don't, I'm not sure if she has a case or not, but for me personally, you know, I hear about crafters getting sick while they're using it and just all type of stuff. So for me personally, I'm not messing with it, um, but you, you can do what you want with your business. Okay. And same thing. I'm on the next cup here. I'm just going to do the exact same thing. Because this one is a little bit more curved, I'm going to pull it up on this side and push it down on the other side at the same time. Because sometimes when you go to try to curve the um, transfer tape, it creates a bunch of air bubbles that I don't want. So I'm just going to pull it up and push it down at the same time. Okay, so I'm pulling it up from this side and pushing it down on this side at the same time so I don't get a bunch of air bubbles 
in the vinyl. Okay, and I still got a couple air bubbles, so I'm just going to go ahead and take my tool here and make sure I push them out. I'm just going over it, making sure my vinyl is nice and flat with no air bubbles okay and there's bougie and then the last one here and I'm still using the same piece of uh, transfer tape I haven't cut a new piece off I don't want to waste it so I'm still using the same piece And for this one, I'm going to put it sideways, going on this way, going bottom up. And this one isn't as curved, so this one's super easy to put on. Okay, and I'm now I'm just pushing the vinyl down. Making sure it's all the way down. This part don't want to come off. Let me go this way that T don't want to come off okay there we go now I'm just gonna push the T down and make sure there's no bubbles and there's no you can't really see it and put my fingers in there and see and there's ratchet now how I'm gonna package these for my customer um, I have, I purchased these shipping boxes here. I got them from Packling. Um, they were rather expensive, but, um, I designed the box with my logo and everything on it. So, you can really customize your box to say or have anything well it has my old logo on it I purchased these with my old when I still have my old logo so I do have to get some more but I still have a lot of these left so I'm trying to hurry up and go through them but and it is a shipping box so when I'm shipping now I'm not shipping this set she's gonna come pick it up um so I don't have to worry about you know shipping the glass in this box or anything like that but I'm still gonna give it to her in this box. Um, but this is the box, and like I said, I got it from Packling. It does have a glossy finish. It has my logo printed on there. Um, so it's a very, very nice, very good box. Packling is where I got it from. Um, and then I'm going to take. This little, I'm not even sure what this is called. What is it called? Paper shred. I think I got it from, um, Michael's maybe. 
or party city but uh this pink and black is the color of my or my brand color so i'm just gonna take some pink and put it in here You can use tissue paper if you would prefer to use tissue paper. You can do it however you want. I'm just going to um, show you how I do it. I'm going to take the black and put it inside the cup. So that when I go to take the, you know, take the picture of it, you can see because the ratchet is in gold vinyl. So you see how you can see it better now when I put the black paper in there. And then same with the wine glass. Just gonna put some black in there. And then see how you can see bougie better after I put the black in there. A lot of people when they market their cups, you know, they're asking people, where did you get your box from? Where did you get, you know, this, that, and the other from? And then I'm just going to sprinkle some black in there. I'm going to pull you guys in so you can see it when I'm done. Everybody does theirs differently and then I'll probably um, you know just take the picture like this and then I'll wrap her things in bubble wrap so let me pull you in so you can see it okay so that's how I do it um, I won't be able to keep it in here because the coffee mug I think is going to be too big to stay in this box but for you know picture purposes that's how I'm going to do it okay so that's how you create these set sets and box them so that you can take a picture of them um, if you guys have any questions comments concerns definitely let me know drop it down in the description box and that is all for this video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.